Uh, okay, sorry, you want to know about the EMPH and solars. There we go. All right, so we've definitely come back inside this 282.46, but it's still, look at this chop fest sideways. We have a very high probability of tagging uh, 263.50. Yeah, as long as it stays below on a swing basis, 282, and you can see the 50 is starting to break, and the Bollinger Band is opening up, so it's actually nice. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's very nice. So this gap down on a daily, pretty. Problem is, we are right at support level three. So here is a ginormous channel. So if you are wanting to really be pushing, 270 needs to break. And 257 is a good price target, but solar in general. And EMPH. I would say that Tesla and EMPH, highest probability short, Tesla's obviously, I don't want to call it free fall, but gorgeous right? Gorgeous short. This high probability was going to come down to 263 and then 257.55. So nice chase. Here's, the, here's your cradle. What goes up, turns sideways. As long as it stays below 282, this can come right on back down to 231. Another $30 break. But, but first things first. It just tagged 263.50. It's on its way to 257 and a half. That's the easy part. A bounce here would not surprise me. So just be careful. It has a it has to have a reason to dump, you know, 30, 50 points. Once it gets to the 100 day, it typically gets supported, at least for a bounce. All right. So EMPH, very weak. Still seeing 257. EMPH 250 puts um, are out of the money, but why not? 